1953, the first Corvettes rolled off the assembly line. Now, this was amid a recession. So, if you're going to produce a brand new car in 53, you had to make it as cheap as possible. So, that 53 Corvette had a 235 cubic inch six cylinder that only made 150 horsepower. That engine was not a specially produced engine while it was quoted as being hopped up. So in order to move mass effectively with 150 horsepower, you have to be very careful about where you're going to put the weight. So the floors were made of balsa wood and the body was made of a 46 piece kit basically that was hand modified car by car to ensure that the panels fit together properly and well. The fact that Corvette became the household name it is today with this start is beyond remarkable. Current estimates of the 300 original cars are that only 225 of them should still exist. Knowing how some people are, it's entirely possible that someone could have used a larger engine and had a body fabricated of metal if it was going to be, say, a drag car or something like that. It's possible, but would it have been wise? No. I searched through Hot Rod's archives and I couldn't find anything about a metal bodied uh, 53 Corvette. But that doesn't mean that no one ever built one, it just means I'm I'm fairly confident Chevrolet never built one, but I wasn't there. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that. And if you do have the magazine and you want to reply to a comment here so other people can see your magazine, by all means do. You're welcome to. As always, thanks for watching.